Hello guys, how are you? Is anybody there? What's up? Good? Welcome to our 15th class of the advanced anybody course. There? What's up? Good? So guys, in a couple of minutes we're gonna start. Let's wait four or five minutes so we can continue learning one more advanced grammar, okay? Hello, hello, hello Tatiani, good? How are you doing? So guys, soon we begin our class. It's almost finishing Tatiani. We're almost coming to an end. Next week is the last week of the quarantine course unfortunately hello Gabriela how are you doing hi so guys in a couple of minutes we begin okay today we're gonna talk about past models so we're gonna think about the past remember the past reflect how things could be different okay hello Lisandra how are you doing is everything okay with you? Good? Guys, next week, like I said, is our last class. But don't worry because we have some important information for you that want to continue learning English when the course finishes, okay? In the end of the class, I'm going to give you guys more information about this, okay? That's good, Lisandra. that's good. And Samuel, where's Samuel? I'm not seeing Samuel here today. There he is. Just saw your message. He's back. He's quick. Samuel is a top student, right? So guys, let's wait three more minutes so we can begin the class. Just see if anybody else is going to enter. Pedro Caldeira. I'm not seeing Pedro Caldeira here today. Guarapa too. Guarapa, every class he watches. Where's Guarapa? I'm not seeing Guarapa here today. And then we begin, okay? There's Guarapa. Guarapa's always here. <laughs> Guarapa Chapa, how are you? <laughs> nice. And you, Tatiana, you didn't tell me how are you feeling, Tatiana? Is everything good? How is life? How is the quarantine? There he is, uh, Tatiana. Guarapa is back. Talita, how are you, Talita? Doing good? Feeling good, Talita? Talita Peçanha. I, had, I have two good friends. They're from a city called Peçanha. Do you guys know Peçanha? It's in Minas Gerais. So guys, one minute and we begin our class today. Let me get things ready here so we can start. And we can begin. That's good, Tatiana. So guys, let's begin the class today. See the idiomas you speak, the world gets it. So let's start today, guys. We're going to talk about past models. Models, as you know, you guys already had a class with Janeta. That is should, could, would, must. These are model verbs. Today, we're going to learn how to use um, different model vo verbs, but when we're talking about the past. Okay? Good? Talita, if you don't speak English, no problem. You can speak Portuguese. Don't worry. Okay? So, guys, today we're going to talk about past models. Before we continue this advanced grammar, let's go to a little quiz. So, let me test you guys. I want you to complete the information with one of the model verbs okay we're talking about the past so number one a b or c if you wanted to stay in that hotel you booked before what do you think guys here as you can see we have if now this is a condition 
a lot of times the past models we use with conditionals if imaginary situations so if you wanted to stay in that hotel you booked before okay so Tatiani says C and Lisandra also thinks it should have guys you're gonna see that in this class in this exercise sometimes we have more than two options right but one of them sounds better one of them is better for you to use and the number one this one would be the best just like Tatiana Lisandra said if you wanted to stay in that hotel you should have booked before okay Samuel, in this situation, might have is not the best answer because might, we're thinking about probability. Né? You might have booked before. It's a probability. But the idea the sentence wants to give is that it wasn't the best decision. You had better options. So it's about regrets. It's better to use should have. Okay? Hello, Natalia. We just started, Natalia. Now, number two. And number two, what do you guys think? He committed the crime as he had both the motive and the opportunity. What do you think, guys? Can't have, could have, or would have. He committed the crime. He had the motive and the opportunity. He can't have, he could have, or he would have. What do you think? Let's see. Number two. A, B, or C? Tatiana, B. Quick. Tatiana's internet is good today, too. Tatiana, your internet got better. Now, you answer very fast. That's good. Natalia thinks it's B as well. So, she thinks could have. All right, let's see. Samuel B. M. B. Good, guys. So here, the best option for us would be could have. He could have committed the crime. He had the motive and the opportunity. Okay, Gabriela. So the best option here is could. Let's see. Two more. Number. No, let's do one more. Just one. Number three. If I had known about your accident, I phoned you. I may have, I should have, or I would have phoned you. Guys, what do you think is the best option for this situation? And number three. Number three, Tatiani and Emma thinks it's C. Would have. Okay. Does anybody think it's B or A? Is Tatiana correct? Is Emma correct? And Samuel thinks yes. Natalia too. And guys, you are correct. If I had known about your accident, I would have called you. This is the best option to use in this situation, okay? So now, guys, let's learn a little bit more. Today, we're going to talk about three models okay so we're gonna talk about should have would have and could have what's the right use when do we use these three different situations okay now remember we have must have can have might have but today we're gonna focus on should would and could that are similar we're talking about the past but they give different ideas. Né? English is a language that's very expressful. So you need to select the right words according to what you want to say, what you want to express. So maybe if you use would instead of should in one situation, can cause problems for someone understanding. Like, is he talking about a possibility? or something he regrets right so we have to pay attention and know when we're gonna use each one okay the first one that we're gonna talk about here is the 
model should have guys and should have when do we use this situation normally when we regret something in the past so we think like oh i could have done something different right it it didn't need to be like this so when we think about the past and we see a better decision of the past so we look at our past and we see ah i had a better decision for that moment okay so what should i have done so let's imagine we have our friend emmy and emmy guys he stayed monday party tuesday netflix wednesday playing poker thursday he stayed sleeping but on friday emmy had a very important test emmy had a very important test last friday but monday he partied tuesday he watched netflix wednesday he slept thursday poker and the result was in the test emmy got 10 percent of the test correct so emmy is gonna look back in his past and he's gonna say yeah oops let me go back here so emmy he's gonna go back to this past of his he's gonna look back in that moment and he's gonna think yeah i should have studied for the test right this is something that he's reflecting about the past i should have studied for the test so emmy he didn't study in the test for the test but now in this moment he looks back and he says i should have studied for the test okay so this is the situation that we can use for the affirmative form of should if we have the negative emmy can say i shouldn't have played poker thursday thursday all right so i shouldn't have played poker thursday and here we have the negative form of should so here we have the negative this is when we're talking about a past decision that was not very good okay now guys it's important that you know that we can contract the sentence right so here instead of saying should have we can also use should have all right when you're speaking in english if you go to the united states if you go to england you're gonna see that when they speak they don't say should have it's more common for you to hear should have okay so the correct pronunciation is should have i should have studied for the test okay now studied here as you can see i have here my verb and this verb, it's in the past participle, okay? So we're going to use the verb according to the third column, the past participle. For example, uh, write, we're going to use, I should have written, written, not wrote, okay? Good. Emma said, I'm the garbage of the universe. <laughs> No, you're not, Amy. This was just an example, okay? Next example, I'm going to choose another victim for this situation, okay? Good? So, guys, should have, should have. Use should have to say that is a different action was recommended in the past. So, you're recommending a different past. Amy, you should have studied. This would be the best decision. You can also use um, to tell other people that a different action in the past would have been better. Amy, if you had studied, né, you would pass the test. You're very intelligent. So we use to recommend a different past. Okay? Example. 
I should have left my house earlier. I should have left my house earlier. Or you shouldn't have played video games all weekend. Okay? Good? So now let's do an exercise. If you guys have any questions, ask me after we're going to talk about could have and would have. Let's go. So guys, here we're going to match the sentence on the left to the appropriate ones on the right. So you guys are going to put for me 1B, 2D, 3E. Okay? Let's go. The first situation, my girlfriend left me. What would be the best option for this situation here? We have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. So comment for me, number one, number two, and number three, okay? First, let's do number one, two, and three. My girlfriend left me. She won't be able to finish her dinner. And this movie is really boring. So for the first one, let's see. My girlfriend left me. Tatiane commented, Lisandra, good. One, E, my girlfriend left me. I should have been nicer to her. Very good. One, E, two, she won't be fin able to finish her dinner. Let's see. Um, which one do you guys think is for number two? Got it. All right. Number two. Good, Lisandra. Very good, Lisandra. Lisandra already got one and two correct. Two. G. Good, Samuel. Number two. G. Guys, good job, Gabriela. Good job, Natalia. Two. She won't be able to finish her dinner. She shouldn't have ordered so much. Né? So much food, she's not going to be able to finish. Three, this movie is really boring. So number three, what can we say for number three? Mm, got it. And number three, the movie is boring. Good, Lisandra. Very good, Tatiane. Nice, guys. Nice, Amy. Very good. This movie is really boring. We should have chosen a romantic one. Now, let's do number four, five, and six. Four, five, and six. I think that dress looks awful on her. I think the dress looks bad on her. So, which one can we choose? For four, five. This food is burnt. And it's black. It's burnt. And number six, my feet are freezing. Good, Samuel. Very good, Natalia. For number four, we're going to choose D. She should have chosen a different color. Nice. Number five, this food is burnt. For number five, we have here a oven. Okay, oven, guys. Oven, you have the stove in your house that you cook the food. And you have the oven for you to bake a cake to make lasagna right so this food is so burnt you shouldn't have left it in the oven so long so number five H okay and number six let's see number six any there for number six all right Good. Six. C. My feet are freezing. I should have put on thicker socks. Seven and eight to finish. I was really late for work today. You were late for work. What you shouldn't have done, eh? And number eight. The interview didn't go too well. Lisandra already told us. Number seven. I was really late for work today. So... I shouldn't have gone to bed so late. All right? And number eight, the interview didn't go 
too well. So for number eight, I should have prepared more thoroughly, né? more effectively, with more care. 8B, okay? Guys, great job, really, really nice. And now we're gonna talk about another situation here, guys. So now, what I wanna talk with you guys is about could have. So, we talked about past recommendations, right? But now we're gonna talk about could have. So now we have a different model verb. Guys, and when I'm gonna use could have, it gives an idea as well of a regret that we have. So it also gives an idea of a regret, but could have we use when we're talking about something that was possible in our past. So if something happened, if in that condition was different, I would have another possibility. Né? I would have a different outcome. So here we're using for possible past, possibilities, okay? Let's imagine last week, guys, was a week that I worked a lot. I was working a lot. And let's imagine that I worked 10 hours a day, all right? Let's put more. Let's put 12 hours a day. So I worked, wait, I pressed the number here and we changed the screen, but now we're back. So let's imagine that I worked 12 hours every day. So I was really tired, I couldn't do anything. If I had more free time, let's imagine that I had more free time, I could do a lot of things. I could have studied music. I could have walked my dog. And I could have taken a new course. Right? Let's put here possibilities of our past. So as you can see, I could have studied music, I could have walked my dog, and I could have taken a new course. These are possibilities in the past if I did a different decision, if I didn't work 12 hours a day, if I had more free time, okay? Now, as you can see, studied, walked, and taken, these verbs, they also continue in the past parts, okay? So, we're going to use could've and the past participle of the verb. So, we're going to use the third column, okay? Let's contract. Let's see the pronunciation of this. So, we can say could have or we can say could have i could have studied music all right and if we're gonna use the negative i couldn't have walked my dog so between could have we can put not i could not have walked my dog something that was impossible in the past so if we use the negative this thing becomes impossible all right so we can use for possible or impossible situation okay teacher so ggx hi teacher you are of school junior harney is english language gg i couldn't understand your question okay if you can ask again but i couldn't understand very clear what is this okay could have, guys, use could have to talk about possibilities if something had been different in the past. And we're going to use normally, normally we use with the conditional. Né? We're going to use with the third condition. If plus had past participle to express an imaginary situation in the past. Okay, so let's imagine here. If I had gone to college, I could have gotten a better job. 
So here we have uh, if, if, had, had, past participle, gone. Imaginary situation in the past. If I had gone to college, I could have gotten a better job. Past possibility. Or she could have won the gold medal if she hadn't fallen three times. All right? Now, guys, I want to know your past possibilities. What could you have done last year if you had had more money? I want you to use could have. Kai, I could have bought a car. I could have taken a new online course. Comment for me in the chat what you could have done if you had more money last year, 2019. Me, Kai, I could have traveled. I could have um, bought a bike. So something I want to buy is a bicycle. Because car, I waste too much money on gas and I need some exercise. So I could have bought a bike and I could have traveled. And you guys, what you could have done. So, let's see your comments. I'm excited to see what you guys could have planned last semester if you had more time. So, Julio, I could have traveled more in some well. If I had more money last year, I could invest more money. So, GGX, I'm Australian. Please speak Australian English. I don't understand anything. GG, unfortunately, my English comes from the USA, so I don't know Australian English, okay? So, some words are similar to Australian English, but I don't know. i never been to Australia, so my English is American. I'm sorry, okay? Uh, but... Samuel, Kai, if you bought a bike, let me know. Maybe we can take a ride. That would be really good. That would be awesome. Okay? That would be nice. I would enjoy. Especially going out to nature, right? Lisandra, if I had more money last year, I could have made a language course. Jonas, I could have entered a driving school last year if I had more money. That's nice, Jonas. Nowadays, to get your driver's license, it's very expensive, right? Guys, what would have happened if you hadn't gotten your job or degree? So, let's imagine your life without your job or without your university. What would have been different for you? What would change in your life? Oh, if I didn't have my job right now, I'm going to be honest... Um, I would have been probably in, let me see, without money, of course, and a lot of people that I know, a lot of networks that I have, I wouldn't have, okay? And you guys, what would be different for you? Natalia said, if I had more money, I could have made an international trip. And Gabriela, I could have traveled to Dubai. You need a lot of money, right, Gabriela? So, guys, how about if you didn't have your job? Guys, for the next part, while you guys comment, I'm going to pass to the next question. Because I know that you guys nowadays don't have a lot of time. With quarantine, we, it helps. Now we have a little bit more time. Some people, because I don't. But what could you have done this week? Now, now it's Thursday. If you had more time. Tell me. If you had more time, what you could have done this week? Tatiana, if I didn't enter in the university, I would have done... A course, very good. Maybe a technical course, né, Tatiana? You could do a technical course as well. Nice. Guys, if I had more time this week, I could have probably done some exercise and I would go out. And I could have walked my dog. This is something true. I could have gone out with my dog, walked my dog, but I'm working a lot. So I don't have this much time. All right? 
somewhere if I didn't have my job today I don't know how would be those quarantine times so the difference between Australian English and American English is American day Australian all right and day in English good so the spelling changes right Sometimes you guys use a lot of mate too at the end, right? How you doing, mate? How are you doing? Right? Something like this. So if you had more time, what you could have done? Tell us, guys. What you could have done. Let me drink some water here. If I hadn't gotten my job, I could have moved to Europe. Wow, Natalia, your life would be very different, right, if you didn't have your job. Imagine you in Europe, relaxing, relaxing, no working or studying, right? So, guys, for the next one, we have here one more. If coronavirus didn't exist, what could you have done last month? So in April, if the coronavirus didn't exist, what could you have done last month? Let's see. If corona didn't exist, I could have gone to a lot of parties, a lot of festivals. There was a festival in São Tomé das Letras, and had a lot of nice musicians there. If Corona didn't exist, I could have gone to São Tomé das Letras for this um, festival. All right? Ah, okay, got it, G. So the difference that here in Australia, the sound of E has the sound of A from Brazil. Like, day in Australia, you guys say, die right something like this it's hard to, to say the australian english i'm not gonna try g or else you're gonna think i'm ridiculous so i'm gonna continue with the american english here okay now natalia if coronavirus didn't exist i could have worked out very hard right maromba stay strong the abbreviation for would is the same for had Yes, it's the same abbreviation, okay? It's the same. But here, in this situation, when we abbreviate, né, we, it's better for you to abbreviate could have. Né? The could with have. But if you want, you can say, I'd have traveled more. Okay, so you can also abbreviate, I'd have traveled more. But it's more common to abbreviate could have, should have, okay? But it's the same abbreviation. You have to pay attention to the have and the main verb. Got it? Good? If coronavirus didn't exist, I could have traveled to Chile. Oh my God. If coronas didn't exist, many parties in Ouro Preto. Awesome. Aglomeração at its finest, né, in Ouro Preto. Good. Guys, now, the next situation, the last one that we're gonna see is when we're talking about would have, okay? So when we're talking about would have, Caio, when do I use this as the past model? Guys, we have a word in English that is something that you're willing to do. It's called willingness. Willingness is something that your attitude for you would be okay and you would do. You would have the availability, you would have the disposição, sorry for the Portuguese, to do something. It wouldn't be a problem for you, okay? So, for example, if I had more time, we can use would have. Could have, I'm talking about a possibility, can, né? could have in the past. 
would have willingness something that you would do so I would have um, gone out with my dog okay so here we can use would have like oh for me if I had more time no problem I'm willing to do this so I would have gone out with my dog and here we have the same abbreviation I would have gone out with my dog so I'm talking about something in the past that I'm willing to do okay so Gigi said the quarantine here in Australia is being very well followed in there in the United States Gigi we are actually Brazilians so most of the students are in Brazil okay most of them we have some people in Portugal Lisbon but most are from Brazil here in Brazil we're following now we're staying home but a lot of businesses are not following they're opening the banks are full okay so in Brazil it's not like Australia I even saw that in Australia the schools are opening but with restrictions né? and the, the population follows this in Australia in Brazil the culture is a little bit different okay so guys we can use if I had more time I would have gone out so when do we use would have we use would have to imagine a result how something would have been different in the past okay would have expresses more certainty you're more sure that the result then when you use could have could have possible 50 50 would have you're more certain you're more sure about the situation okay for example if i had worked harder i could have gotten a promotion and if we had arrived earlier we would have caught our flight so here would have more certain could have maybe something that it's possible okay good no problem gg now guys changing your past so let's imagine i give you a click button from the movie adam sandler this is a very good movie and you have the opportunity to change your past i want to know what you would have done different okay so you're gonna tell me i would have done this or this okay the first one if you could change your name if your name was not samuel lisandra natalia tatiani what would you name yourself i would have named myself what would you choose this is a, a tricky question for me because my name is different but i really like my name but i would have named myself gabriel okay gabriel is a name that i like maybe guarapa can also it's a good name but gabriel in memory eh, for my mother my mother's name is gabriela so i would have named myself gabriel okay and you Samuel, I like my name. I wouldn't change it. Samuel, you have to choose one, Samuel. Choose one. If you have to choose, I also like my name, but what other name do you think it's nice to use? Everyone likes their name. I know, guys. Nice. Okay, so no one, you guys can use the negative. Né? I wouldn't have changed my name just like jonas did here in the comments this was really good i wouldn't have changed my name okay so samuel you can use have like you're reflecting on the past okay now if you could choose a city you guys like your name but the city maybe you guys would change right if you could go back in time and change the place you live where would you live Oh, so his name is Gabriel. That's awesome. Now we can call you Gabriel instead of GG. I would have lived in Cali, California. If I could change 
and move to a different place, a different city, a different state, I would have lived in California. And Julio would have named himself Thales. Nice, that's a good name. I like the name. Tatiane, I would have changed for Catarina. Nice, very good. And city, guys, tell me what you, where you would like to live if you could change. Let's see. I would have lived in Turkey. All right, let me show you how to write this word here. Turkey. Good. Jonas, I would have lived in Juiz de Fora. Jonas, you have the option of New York, California, uh, even Australia. You can go and you choose Juiz de Fora. So you must really like Minas Gerais. Gabriel lives in Tasmania, Australia. Awesome. Natalia would have lived in Toronto and Julia, Julio in Recife. Very good. Nice. Um, I would have lived in New York. Very good. And Lisandra, Vancouver or somewhere in Australia. Maybe Gold Coast, right? And an animal, guys. This is a tricky one. But if you could come back when you're born and you're born an animal. What animal would have been born? You. So, an elephant, a giraffe, a monkey. I would have been born a monkey for sure. All right. So, monkey, I think it's a really cool animal, very intelligent, very similar to human beings. So, I would have been born a monkey. Okay? Good. Agia. Agia, Gabriela. You can say eagle. Right? So you would have been born in eagle. And Samuel, a monkey too. It's the one that he prefers. A lion would be good, but lions have a lot of responsibilities. Né? They're king of the jungle. I would like just to play around like a monkey. Agia means eagle. All right? It's an eagle, Gabriel. Agia is an eagle. Okay? The animal. This, do we have an eagle here? No. Guys, we're coming to almost the final question here. Imagine you could be famous for some reason, any reason. So you would be famous for being an athlete, for being a singer, an actress, for being the president. What would you have become famous for? I would have become a singer, all right? I like music. I think music would be something nice, so I would have become a singer. I like athletes as well. I think being an athlete is something nice, but athletes, they can't party so much. They have to exercise a lot. Artists, you can just enjoy life, go to parties, drink your beer without a problem. So I would have become a musician. Maybe a rock and roll singer, a hip hop singer, something like this. Okay? Thank you, Samuel, for have, helping Gabriel here. And Julio, I would have become a singer too. What kind of music, Julio? What kind of music you would choose? Tatiane, a journalist. Awesome. So that's really good. That's really nice. His name in Hollywood, Gabriel in Hollywood here, imagine. Tatiane is studying to become a journalist. That's awesome. I think it's a really, really nice profession, okay? I really respect that. Guys, so we have one more. Samuel, I would have become a great athlete. I've tried, actually. Soccer, Samuel. Soccer in Brazil, it's difficult. And Gabriela, she would have become a singer, né? Single? No. Your boyfriend is going to get angry. Your husband. Now, the last, guys, profession. Let's imagine you have to choose a different profession, okay, Tatiani? So not journalist, uh, not engineering, a different profession from yours. What would you have chosen? I would have chosen to be, let me see, probably, um, probably a journalist like Tatiani. I would have chosen 
journalism, I think it's a really nice profession as well. Sometimes I'm watching Global News or some other news and I, I look at these people speaking, it's something really nice. They speak really well, they're very intelligent, they have a lot of information. And how about you, Samuel? I would have become a doctor. Oh, nice. Imagine, Samuel, a doctor in this moment of coronavirus, huh? How much work and how much danger you would be in. But a really nice profession. I think doctors, nurses, everyone uh, that's working in the hospital this moment, I really respect. Tatiani, I would have chosen to be a lawyer. Mm. Lawyers have to read a lot. I don't know if, if I would want to study for the rest of my life, especially laws. And it's really difficult. Lisandra, I would have chosen to be a veterinarian. Very good. And Samuel says that they are heroes. True. Very good. Nice, guys. So, guys, we're coming to the end of our class today. Before we finish, I have some important information to you guys, all right? So, I want everybody to pay attention. If you have any questions, you can ask me and I help you with should have, could have, and would have, all right? Natalia, if I was not in mining engineer, I would have chosen medicine, right? Health school, good. Gabriel says Australia is very beautiful and beaches, has the Uluru Stone in the capital, Canberra. Very beautiful, nice. Brazil also is a very nice place. If you come to Brazil, you're going to love the beaches, you're going to love the people, Gabriel, because it's an awesome place. Okay, good. Tatiana said journalists have to read very much. I didn't think of this. Nice. Guys, so... Next Tuesday, we have our 16th class, so it's the last class of the quarantine course on Tuesday, okay? But on Thursday, next Thursday, we're going to have one more class, and in this class, I'm going to bring for you guys a review of everything that you saw during this course. So I'm going to bring a review for you guys, and... Stay tuned because we're also going to release a new product on Thursday. So we're going to give you more option for you guys to learn your English on Thursday. And I'm going to speak with you guys about your certificates because everyone that participated in this course is going to get a certificate that you concluded the course. So next Thursday, I'm going to give this review class and also talk about the certificate and the new product that we're going to release for you to continue studying English, okay? Remember, subscribe to the YouTube channel so you guys can have all of this information, okay? See you. Bye-bye. Gabriel, nível avançado means advanced level in Portuguese. These students, they are in their advanced level of English, okay? Bye-bye, guys. See you. Peace out. And the